files can be staged between federated data grids. Having a copy of your data in another data grid can help minimize risk of data loss. Previously, we looked at a rule that staged data within a data grid. Files are automatically copied from a staging area into their final destination within the data grid. The rule is available at LifeLive Zone, Home RW More Rules, HIPAA StageFederation.R. Files can also be staged between two data grids that have been federated. A rule to do this is available at LifeLive Zone, Home RW More Rules, Test Periodic Stage.R. The rule test-periodicstage.r takes files from a staging area on the LifeLive Zone data grid and writes files into an archive collection on a federated data grid, such as DFC main. The rule test-periodicstage.r is shown here. The rule has four main input parameters, star res, which is the resource where a log file will be written, star desk zone, which is the name of the federated data grid, star src, which is the collection from which data are being staged, and star dest, which is the collection where the files will be deposited in the federated data grid. The rule checks the input collections and storage resource for validity, then issues a request for periodic execution of the rest of the rule. A log file is created with the current timestamp in the star src collection. A query is created to list all of the file names and their checksums from the staging area. For each file, a destination path name is created, except for the log file. This enables subcollections to be present within the staging area. Any required subcollections are created. The file is then copied, the access controls are set, the file is checksummed, and the checksum is verified to be correct. The rule example uses the test zone data grid as the home data grid. This can be changed to the life live zone data grid. Take seven minutes to complete exercise 113. Set up a staging area and try running life live zone home RW more rules test periodic stage dot R. Put files into the stage directory. The rule executes every seven days. Please load a paragraph describing your result into the Lifetime Library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class. Please turn in homework assignment 15 by noon on Monday of the next week. Summarize the most important concepts learned in the course. How do these concepts impact your design of a research collaboration?